Hi, so if you're thinking of getting into consulting, maybe you've started consulting, here's a question for you. Are you actually a consultant or a contractor? What's the difference? We'll talk about that coming right up. Okay, so there's a lot of confusion in consulting about different terms that we use. So I talked about a consultant versus a coach in a previous video. What about consultant versus a contractor? What's the difference? Does it really matter? Well, as in everything in every industry and particularly in consulting, there's a lot of gray areas. Look, what I would say is don't get too fussed, don't get too stressed out about the difference, but let me give you my perspective on what the difference is. And it's an important perspective, as you'll see in a second. Okay, so contractors versus consultants. A lot of people will leave corporate life to get into consulting and actually what they're doing is getting into contracting. So contracting in my mind is basically you are labor for hire. And very often what happens is they, they decide to get out of corporate life and their very first uh, client, if you like, is the company they were working for. It's very common. Uh, typically, it would happen when they're making particular roles redundant. Uh, maybe there's been a headcount reduction in the company. Uh, they're not allowed to have staff you know, on the payroll doing that job anymore, but they're allowed to hire contractors to do it, short-term staff. And contractors can be there for a long, long time. So very often, employees who've just left the company can be rehired as contractors. So what is a contractor? Well. In my mind, it's basically like an employee, but employed as an independent contractor, simple as the term says. So basically, you know, they're not um, paying the expenses and overheads of the contractor, they're paying a contract fee. Very often the contractor is provided through a contractor company, or they may be working as individuals, but basically they're like an employee. They, they might be turning up Monday to Friday, nine to five, doing an everyday job in the company. Uh, maybe it's a, a short-term contract over three to six months while the company is implementing maybe a new technology or moving a facility or something like that. And the contractor's there full-time effectively working for that company, just that company, you know, nine to five, five days a week. So it's a little bit like full-time employment, but on a contract basis. So that's really my view of what a contractor is. So what is a consultant then? And, and you'll hear the term consultant or management consultant. That's slightly different. Generally, they're not hiring the individual just to get their time. You know, I'm, I'm not hiring a consultant to be in my office nine to five to just do one of the everyday roles. Generally, what a company is doing when they're hiring a consultant is they're hiring specific experience, uh, qualification, skills. Uh, generally, the consultant is bringing expertise in having solved a specific problem before. So if you check out one of my earlier videos right, regarding the coach versus the consultant, it's a similar thing. The contractor's coming on board, if you like, to, <clears throat> to take up a seat in the company uh, and to do an everyday role. The consultant is coming along to actually fix a specific problem. Now, they may be getting paid day rates, they may be on hourly rates, they may be getting paid a, a fixed fee for a certain outcome. And we'll talk about all the different ways of, of costing uh, projects, consulting projects, in a future video. But the difference is they're not there nine to five. They, they may be working at their own office. They, they may be working on two or three different client assignments at once. They're getting paid for a specific outcome. So I run uh, management consulting businesses. I have three in the area of supply chain and logistics. So for example, uh, one of our consulting assignments might be to design a warehouse. So we're not getting paid you know, by the hour, turning up Monday to Friday to design a warehouse. We're getting paid for a specific outcome. We want a materials handling solution for that warehouse so that we can go to suppliers and get quotes for all the equipment to fit out the warehouse. So, there will be an agreement on how long this is going to take. You know, generally it might be four weeks, eight weeks, depending on the complexity. We'll do a, a rough uh, costing in terms of how much time we're going to put into it. And generally the client will have a fixed price. So you're going to pay X thousand dollars and we're going to give you this design. There's going to be, uh, you know, clear deliverables such as uh, CAD drawings and equipment listings and, and some analysis showing what the solution is. That's really what consulting is about. It's helping with a specific problem. 
Um, of course, if you're getting into management consulting, and one of the great things is that you can roll from project to project with a client. And we'll talk about that in a future video. How do you build that client relationship so that you might be helping them with a, a marketing plan this week, and then next month you're helping them with some marketing automation or something like that, whatever your field of expertise is. That's where you've got to build that really close relationship so that you can grow your account, your client account, grow your business, providing great ongoing service to the client. But the question was, what's the difference between a consultant and a contractor? In my mind, that's it. A contractor is kind of a body for hire, very experienced body generally, who's coming in to help over an extended period where they don't have someone within the business to perform that particular role. A consultant is coming in to fix a specific problem. And it's not really about the time that they're spending there, it's about the outcome that they're gonna deliver, and that's what the client's paid for. So I hope that was useful. Now you remember how this channel works. We have new videos coming out every Wednesday and if you're not subscribed, you may not get notification. So if you've enjoyed this particular video, do comment below. I read all the comments myself. I reply to them all myself. Ask whatever question you like in terms of management consulting. Hit that subscribe button, uh, share whatever, hit the, uh, the bell for notifications and you'll get an email every time a new video comes out and it's generally on a Wednesday. Thanks for watching.